Yo, what's up, Columbus? This is Trey coming at you from Let the Revolution Begin. I'm here with Crazy Town tonight. Crazy Town is going to be playing with P.O.D. and also Dope and Stained here at the Newport. Got Shifty to my right. I got Trouble to my left. What's up, guys? How you doing? Good. Hell yeah. What's up, Shifty? Just kicking it. You know. Hell yeah, man. Um, how was the Crazy Town sound invented? Um, well, you know, that's... It's something that happened over a long period of time, you know. Um, when originally, you know, I, I, I sought out to, I was I was an MC in, in Los Angeles, and I was making more of a, you know, straight up hip hop type thing. And, uh, you know, I hooked up with Epic through some, some mutual friends like uh, the Black Eyed Peas. Oh yeah. And, uh, he had been working on their album. They used to be called the Epic Clan. So me and Epic hooked up, and Epic heard, you know, my style and, and was definitely into it. So me and him started making tracks, and eventually we decided to start a group together. That's fast. And uh, so he got involved in the lyrics as well, and uh, we just started making tracks, and and then it evolved into what's Crazy Town at this point, you know. Hell yeah. We made tracks. We've been making working together for, I think, nine years now. So about three years ago is when we got together and, and made the, you know, crazy town thing really come to life. Sweet. So. Heck yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the song uh, Hollywood Babylon? Hollywood Babylon, that's like, you know, that's a day in the life of a kid growing up in L.A., okay. you know. Um, so that's where you're from then, right? Yeah, definitely. We're from Hollywood. And um, my mom's from Columbus. Wow, you hear that? That's right. That's right, and uh, yeah. so anyway, yeah, um, basically, you know, a lot of the tracks, you know, we, we use a lot of the shit, you know, emotions are, are, are a strong part of, you know, of our focus, you know, that's what our songs are usually about, Yeah. so, um, so we kind of like the consistency of how we grew up or, you know, the things that we went through, you know, a lot of the dark side of yeah. the places we lived and the bright side but you know kind of the extremes and the intensity the, the, the daily struggle between good and evil <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> so you guys chose only when I'm drunk by the alcoholics to cover now does that mean you guys are big partiers well you, most definitely yeah. we're definitely alcoholics hell yeah but um also, you know, that's going to be on the new Loud album, Loud Rocks album. Oh, I haven't heard about System that. Tell us down, a little bit uh, about it. It's System of a Down, uh, Slim Biscuit, Kid Rock, uh, Incubus, and uh, it's all, they're all covers of Loud's greatest hip-hop songs, you know, over the last, you know, 10 years. So basically, we picked that song. We just had the Alcoholics on the road with us for about two weeks, and they were doing Only When I'm Drunk with us. Uh, we just went. That would have been sweet to see. Yeah, it was hot, and uh, we just went and did a remix. So there's gonna be a third verse on the yeah. on the version that you hear on the new Loud album, and then you can hear it on our album as well. But now we all gotta pick that up. That's gonna be fat as hell, man. It's called the Loud Rocks. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, how did you guys uh, team up with KRS One to do B Boy 2000? That was uh, natural. It, it was kind of like we didn't. We we know a lot of people in the business, but we. We wanted it to be a completely natural thing in the making of our record. Yeah. So we didn't like seek out to get anybody except for Jay Gordon, who was like, he's been with Crazy Town ever since before ORG, before Crazy Town. Oh, yeah. We, we were good friends. Yeah. The first Crazy Town tracks had like Jay Gordon playing bass on it. So it was, it was only natural for us to have him on our record. He's one of the people that helped us get our deal as well. And KRS came to us. As yeah, KRS. Like, wow. Mad Lion came by the studio and heard what we were doing and smoked like a blunt with us. And he yeah. was like, he was like, I want to get on the, I want to get on the track, you know. So he got on Hollywood Babylon, and then he went and played that and Toxic for KRS, and KRS was like, fuck that, I want to get in there too, because yeah. they're both from Boogie Down Productions. So then our management called us, and they're like, KRS just called us, and he wants to come and get on a song. And right then, we were just finishing up B-Boy 2000, <laughs> and I was like, what if we had KRS on B-Boy 2000? I was like, that's like off the hook. So, you know, an hour later, he just rolled into the studio. Oh, yeah. And it was, it was on, so that was like... That's one of the best tracks on the yeah, album, man, right. definitely. And the fact that we didn't have to do, you know, we weren't going to do anything like that to justify, like, our, our hip-hop roots or anything like that. You know, yeah. we, didn't, we weren't going to do that because then, you know, then you're trying to justify, you know, 
your experience with hip hop and mm. and your right to put hip hop in, you know on a record mm. and that's and like we don't need that. that's like the hip hop stamp of approval it's a hip hop stamp oh, of yeah. approval you know he came down and was like yeah, dude. this is hip hop you know he was like i want on it and that's just yeah. like I like how he called your shit hip hop on the album. Well, he said yeah, it's a part of hip hop culture that you might not have heard yet. Exactly. That shit is tight, dude. We come we come from a hip hop background, but you know, we we definitely to express ourselves. You know, we needed to incorporate a live band. Definitely. So that's what we're doing. You know. I think it's the music for now and the future, man. Uh, who's the biggest pimp in the band? Who's the biggest pimp? Yeah. That that'd be a hard, you know. <laughs> That'd be a hard one to take credit for. <laughs> but uh, I guess we all are in our own ways. Heck you know? yeah. Um, do you guys think that your style of music is going to be around for a long time? Um, well, the, one of the things is that we, we talk about a lot in a lot of interviews is uh, that how hard it is to say what's, you know, like what style is our music. Because there's so many different styles, and even within that's the, what I'm the, saying. The songs, you know, that that people are coming up with, just don't sound right. You know? Yeah. I mean, we we start com like combining different s labels, you know, and being like, well, it's hip hop punk, and then we're like, but what about this song? Or postmodern hip hop, you know. <laughs> so I mean, so we're we're hoping that as far as being around, we we think that diversity of our record is such that like you can pick a song and there may be bands that go that become like the style of that song on our record you know yeah. we we want to i think we exploded into just like a whole new, you know new barrage of like combinations within every different yeah. song we have we have a wide spectrum of styles yet they all make sense together you know definitely it's like you a fusion make, it's a fusion right there you know it's like one song will take you one place, and the next song will take you a completely other place. Yeah, That's man. What makes yeah, us crazy. It makes sense together, you know? I got to give props to you guys definitely, too, because, man, it's hard to do something like that to combine so many different styles. You know, you guys, you know you guys got to have cool talent to do that shit. But it's totally natural. Yeah. This is just like we don't sit down and go, let's make a song like this, you know? Yeah. It's kind of like... We go into the studio and it's always exciting to see what we make next because there's so I many can. different, you know, influences just coming through the band, you know, and we have our new guitar player, Craig the Squirrel, Tyler, and he's amazing too. So it's like him and Trouble have just been getting crazy together. It's, uh, he's been played in bands like 16 Volt, you know, so. That's fat, man. He, he's insane too. So it's like that brings a whole other, you know, wall of sound to us. Definitely. So, as long as we don't put any, you know, as long as we don't put restrictions on on ourselves, to as far as far as like what's gonna come out, and what we allow to come out when we're writing, mm -hmm. you know, that doesn't mean we're not gonna listen to someone say it could it could be better, you know. But as long as we just let it come out, nine times out of ten we're gonna come out with something that's both new and dope, you know. Definitely, man. That's what it's all about. Um, uh, what clubs did you guys play out where you lived at? Did you guys play Actually, a we, bunch of clubs out there? No, no we haven't. Um, we were fortunate in the way that we basically were in the studio. This band has, you know, evolved out of, out of a studio. You know, me and Epic, Epic, you know, we were lucky enough to have a studio because Epic had been a producer. So in downtown L.A., you know, for a lot of years, we were just messed up on drugs and making songs just for, like, just, you know, purely because that's what we love doing <laughs> and then you know after you know growing up and going through stages or getting sober or whatever it may be you know like you know we had to get sober at times I went to jail a lot of stuff happened so we got to a point where you know not only did the music get really good like some wine in the cellar <laughs> but but you know we needed to that's grow sweet. up and we needed to step to the table and say you know is this what we want to do for a living oh, or you know is, you know yeah. so that's right <laughs> So, oh, yeah. you know, when we stepped to the table, yeah. we stepped to the table, you know, we definitely knew what we were doing. It wasn't like, but we never had to play any clubs. What happened is we just had a studio and we just got serious and made consistently. We're making songs like, and over the course of a year, we shopped those songs to labels. And every time they had a question or a doubt in what we were playing them, we would just give them another song. And we kept making more songs <laughs> until it got to a point where we had we had to pick and choose on which label we wanted to go to. Got, That's great when you can do that, huh? And, and it got to the point when we had artists like, like our friends like Korn or, 
you know, Stone Temple Pilots, you know, Scott Weiland, who were our friends, but they had had our music and they used to listen to our music and they stepped forward and they were like, we want to give you a deal. So when that happened, then it automatically made the bigger labels go, well, what's up with this band? <laughs> so everyone kind of stepped to the table and, you know, Sort of like what your back of your sticker used to say, is say, who the fuck is crazy, exactly. Tom? So, Find out so for we yourself. We didn't have to go out and play clubs. We, we, we got to skip that part. And uh, so then, you know, we've been over in Europe, and we've been doing a lot of playing as a band. And uh, What is it like over there with you guys? You guys uh, get accepted pretty well over there in Europe? Cool. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, you know, but we, we spent... We've done three European tours, one Australian, and three, you know, small UK tours since November. Okay. You know, so, and the a couple of... The only shows we had done in L.A. before our record came out were the shows that we did for the record labels, the showcases, and were shows that we had just done for friends and shit. It was ne We never played any of the club circuit or anything like that. Oh, yeah, that's sweet. I got to skip all that shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. But we didn't really skip it. We just didn't do it. You know, we were, we were in... We were in our, you know, lab working on shit yeah, for a long definitely. time. It wasn't like, yeah, wasn't like we just got together. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. Our shit. That's the one thing <laughs> we have in Crazy Town is like, you know, we we play with bands like on on these big tours and meet a lot of bands that have been touring, you know, or just like loading their own gear on and off for like six, seven years, mm -hmm. and we give so much respect to that. But at the same time, we, you know, even though sometimes we did, some of us did that in, in other little bands or things here and there. We spent time in the like the studio writing, developing our skills. You know, the, right, he, he writes lyrics and rapping, and those skills take so much work to develop. You know, mad Learning skills, instrument, producing. You know, knowing how to make good songs. So it's like, yeah, you know, there's a lot of bands that'll play for ten years. You know, but you may not be working on the right thing that you need to. Yeah. But so now we gotta go through this thing where. We learn to to be as good of a band as our record is, and I think, and we know we are, you know. Yeah. But we just work, man, every day, you know. Like there's, we're never perfectionists, yeah. so you know we're never quite satisfied. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, we come out. I'll yeah, come off stage. Satisfied last night. <laughs> I'll come off stage pissed, you know, sometimes at myself, you know, like but really mad. Walked the stage you know? like that. My fucking guitar was out of tune. <laughs> you know? And it's like, but that's at myself mostly, you know because it's like you know you're like this needs to be so good you know especially like when people are walking by and they know your song like that kid said toxic you know yeah and it's like you you, you can't it's just bring it's bullshit. slowly spreading you know oh definitely it's getting around, it's getting around. And bullshit you know they're gonna know bullshit if you're up on stage giving it to them you know they want to hear it. your band dues and and you know promoting a record at the same time Heck yeah man so it's a whole new ball of wax out here uh you guys pumped up to do OzFest this year? Our day here is July 18th, man. We're definitely excited to do OzFest. It's all, you know, excited. You know, we just did, were in Europe, you know, playing with Slipknot and, and uh, One Minute Silence and a lot of great bands out there. Method. Heck yeah, man. Naming some good ones right and, there. Uh, and then we got to go to, you know, Australia with the Red Hot Chili Peppers and <laughs> then we're doing this MTV tour and then we're on OzFest. So it's like it's on right now. Yeah. You know, we're on a roll. And you know, yeah, we're not looking for a little while. Tickets. Methods may methods may am too. We're not looking for a free ticket. We're gonna be out here touring until this, you know, until we break. Definitely. And make it happen. You know, we're gonna be around for a long time. We don't want to just make one record and disappear. Yeah, man. So. I don't think you will, man. You guys are a sweet band, man. Got lots of emails about y'all, man. We don't wanna blow up too quick. You know, you yeah. don't. You know, it'll happen when it's time, you know. Build your fan base up. You blow up too quick, and you might not be around that long. And we're in it for, you know, we, we want more than 15 minutes, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, we'll wrap up right now. You guys got anything you want to say to Columbus? Well, I want to say one thing is that we have a new single, Dark Side, and we have a new video for Dark Side that's going to be getting dropped at any minute. Call MTV. We need to. And we Call need to TRL. You know. It's oh, a yeah. call your radio stations, you know, help us. Email us. You can tell us you want to see that shit, too, man. You can check out crazytown.com and see how you can hook up with our street team. If you want to get yeah. involved in helping us out. Definitely. Yeah. All right, y'all. This yeah. was Trey, Shifty, and Valley. Oh, shit, yeah. Trey. <laughs> Trey. We're out. Man. Peace out.